welcome to this short tutorial on understanding how to wiggle a separate dimension. So wiggling one dimension. Now we all use wiggle all the time. I'm going to create a new solid, command or control Y, or layer new solid, and I'm going to make it 300 by 300, and I'm going to make it a nice dark blue. And click OK. So there's my solid. And let's start off by saying that we're going to wiggle the position. So I can select the layer and hit P for position and we see that we have got two properties for position. We have got an X property and a Y property. And it's actually quite important that we understand that we have an array of properties. So we have two properties in this array, X and Y. And if I make it a three-dimensional item by clicking the box here, you'll see that we have X, Y, and Z. I'm just going to select position again so that we just see position. So we've got X, Y, and Z. Three properties in an array. Now when After Effects looks at an array, it looks at property 1, property 2, and property 3, but it numbers them differently. It looks at the first property and calls it property 0. And then it looks at the second property and calls it property 1, and looks at the third property and calls it property 2. So I have three properties here in my array, x, y, and z, which After Effects has numbered property 0, 1, and two, and you'll understand why that's important later on. Now, if we apply the standard wiggle, so Alt click or Option click on the stopwatch and type wiggle, and then you can put a space in or not, it really doesn't matter, and then say two space, comma, space. After Effects is very agnostic about spaces, so don't worry about spaces. And let's say we're going to do 200 pixels and then close brackets and then either hit return on your number pad on your keyboard or if you don't have a number pad just click away and it's accepted and then when you hit the space bar you'll see that it is wiggling x y and z by 200 pixels so the apparent scaling is actually going backwards and forwards in z space now what wiggle is effectively saying is this it's saying wiggle the X, Y, and the Z dimensions by 200. So you could, if you wanted, type it like this. Go in there and retype, and then put open brackets, and then open square brackets, zero, close square brackets, comma. So we're telling it to wiggle position zero, which is X, and then open square brackets, one, close square brackets, which is Y, and then open square brackets, two, close square brackets, which is Z, and then times, hit the asterisk in your number pad, 200. So we could, if you like, rename it like this. However, I would need to close my brackets at the end. So I've got two brackets, one for the whole thing and one for this bit at the second part of my equation. Okay, so I'm saying wiggle two times a second whatever's inside these brackets, which is the X, Y, and the Z dimensions by 200 pixels. And then if you hit and return on your numpad or click away, you'll find that that's acceptable and if you hit your spacebar you'll see that it works in the same way. So we've not made any changes. Now you might have thought that if you just wanted to say wiggle the X dimension then you could click in here and you could get rid of the Y and the Z and just tell it to wiggle the X dimension by 200 pixels and hit return. Now it accepts it but when you hit the spacebar nothing happens. You see the thing is although we have got the right idea we need to break it out in a different way. And I'm going to show you how to break it out in a different way. Rather than breaking out our array, our x, y, and z, our 0, 1, and 2, inside the wiggle expression, we need to break it out outside of the wiggle expression. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to highlight that and hit delete at the moment. And now we're going to create a bigger array. And we're going to look at, say, let's just look at the y, so the second property. Now to create an array you always start with a square bracket. That's why we had the square brackets for the 0, the 1 and the 2. And what we want to do is make sure that the X position, in other words it's side by side movement, stays exactly where it is. So what we can do is simply take the pick whip, which is this little item here, and drag it up to the X position. And when you let go, what's typed in for us is whatever the transform position for the first dimension which is X, that's why they've got a zero, let it be what it is. So we can then put comma space. Now we can put in our wiggle for our Y dimension. So we can put wiggle, open brackets two times a second by 100 pixels, close brackets and then we put one, comma, 
and then we want Z to stay as it is. So again, we can take the pick whip and drag it up to Z and let go and it types in saying transform position for dimension two, which is the third dimension, which is Z. So leave it as is. So what we're saying is this, whatever X is, leave it as it is. Wiggle Y, but leave Z exactly as it is. And then we need to close our array, which requires another close square brackets. Hit return on your numpad. Now, when we hit the space bar, we'll see that the wiggling takes place over just one dimension. It's as simple as that, breaking everything into an array. We've still got a wiggle going on, but the wiggle is only happening in one dimension. So to change that, we could simply do this. We could highlight the whole thing and let's start from scratch. Let's say we just want to do the X position now. So what we can do is open square brackets, wiggle, open ordinary brackets, how many times a second? So let's say two, and let's say this time 200 pixels. Close square brackets, and then we know that this is for dimension x, which is zero, comma, space. And then we can take the pick whip and say we want y to stay as it is. So we just drag it up to the y dimension here and let go, comma. And we want z to stay as it is. We can put a space in or not, it's up to us. I'm gonna put a space in, take the pick whip and drop it on z and then close square brackets and hit return on your number pad. And when you hit the space bar, you'll find that it's wiggling by up to 200 pixels in just the X dimension. So that's how you can wiggle just a single dimension. We've broken the three dimensions, X, Y, and Z up in an array, and we have applied the wiggle just to a single dimension. Now, of course you can then, if you want to, wiggle all three parameters in a separate way. So for instance, we've got X going at two times a second by 200 pixels. Of course, where we've got Y in here, we could highlight that all except the one. And we could, if we wanted, wiggle one times a second by 50 pixels. Now what we've done is we've said wiggle X by one amount, but Y by a totally separate amount. Hit enter and hit return and you'll find that it is wiggling up and down, but it's only going up and down by 50 pixels, where it's going across the screen by 200 pixels. And of course, if you wanted to, you could wiggle Z as well. So that's how you can apply wiggle to separate dimensions and have a different look. This is particularly good, I might say, for animating, say, an eye movement. If you want an eye to be looking up and down and not going all over the place, or going side to side and not going up and down, this is exactly how you would do it. Well, I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis and thank you for watching.